the pups save Christmas. Paw Patrol. It was the day before Christmas. The Paw Patrol pups were decorating the big pine tree outside the lookout. These old tennis balls will make great decorations, Chase said. He pushed a lever on a small catapult that Rocky had made and launched a green ball up onto a branch. I love Christmas, said Zuma. I can't wait for Santa to get here. When the pups were finished, the tree looked beautiful, but they all agreed that something was missing. A star, Sky exclaimed. Wings popped out of her pup pack as she grabbed a golden star from the box of decorations. Sky zoomed up into the air and placed the star on the top of the tree. Later that night, Ryder watched his Santa tracker on the lookout's viewing screen. It showed a big blizzard on the horizon, and Santa was flying right into it. Don't worry, Ryder said. If anyone can fly through a bad winter storm, it's Santa. But at that very moment, Santa was having trouble. The storm rocked his sleigh back and forth, bags of presents fell out, and a big golden star slid off the sleigh. Santa and the reindeer landed hard in the snow. Back at the lookout, Ryder received a call on his pup pad. It was Santa. My sleigh has crashed and I've lost a lot of gifts, Santa said. My reindeer are missing too. Worst of all, my magic Christmas star is gone. That's what gives my sleigh and reindeer the power to fly. I need you and the Paw Patrol to help me save Christmas. Ryder gathered the pups together. Rubble, I need you to help dig the sleigh out of the snow. Rubble on the double! Rubble shouted. Ryder looked at Rocky. I need some recycled parts to fix Santa's sleigh. Don't lose it! Reuse it, said Rocky. Ryder continued. Sky, Zuma and Marshall, I need your helicopter, hovercraft and fire truck to help deliver gifts to Adventure Bay. This pup's got to fly, Sky exclaimed. Let's dive in, Zuma cheered. I'm fired up, Marshall called out. And Chase, Ryder said. I need your megaphone and net to help round up Santa's reindeer. Chase is on the case, Chase shouted. All right, Paw Patrol is ready to roll, Ryder said, and all the pups raced away from the lookout. Ryder, Rocky and Rubble found Santa's sleigh in the snow. Rubble got to work digging it out with his shovel. When he was finished, Rocky rolled his truck into position and lifted the sleigh. Ryder saw that one of the sleigh's runners had snapped. We'll have to replace it, he said. Rocky, see what you have in your truck. While the sleigh was being repaired, Sky zoomed through the blustery night, looking for the lost bags of presents. Her searchlight scanned the dark forest below. I see a bag, she reported to Chase and Marshall. Can you pups pick it up? The bag was stuck in a tree, so Marshall used his truck's ladder to climb to the top. He reached up to grab the bag. Suddenly, he slipped off the ladder, and the bag tumbled down too. Chase quickly launched a net to catch the falling bag of gifts. Marshall landed in the soft snow. I'm okay, he said with a smile. Sky, Chase and Marshall found the other bags of gifts and met Ryder at the sleigh. Rocky attached an old ski to the bottom of the sleigh. I knew this would come in handy, he said proudly. Ryder, check out all the presents we found, Marshall said excitedly. Ryder looked at the pups. Sky, I need you and Marshall to drop gifts down chimneys. Zuma, you can deliver gifts to Seal Island. And Chase, I need you to track down those reindeer. The pups went to work. Chase used his nose to follow some tracks in the snow. They led to a reindeer. Bingo, Chase said. Oh, wait, that's not a reindeer name. Come here, uh, Blitzen. The reindeer started to run away. Donda? Prancer? At that, the reindeer stopped. <laughs> you guys should wear name tags, Chase said with a sigh. Sky zoomed through the chilly air and swooped in over Katie's pet parlour. She dropped a gift down the chimney. A few streets away, Marshall tumbled down Mayor Goodway's chimney and landed in her living room with a thump. 
squawked Chickaletta, the mayor's pet chicken. Shh, don't wake the mayor, Marsha whispered as he put a present under the tree. Then he slid a gift-wrapped sweet corn cob over to the chicken before going back to the chimney. Back at the sleigh, Rocky attached the old ski to the broken runner with a few quick twists of his screwdriver. But Ryder and the pup still hadn't found the magic Christmas star. I have an idea, Ryder announced. Ryder replayed the Santa tracker on his pup pad. This should show us where the star fell. It looked like it landed in Farmer Yumi's yard, said Rocky. Let's roll, Ryder exclaimed, and he and the pups ran to their vehicles. Meanwhile, out on the water, Zuma guided his hovercraft over the choppy waves. Wally the Warrior suddenly popped out of the water, blocking Zuma's path. Wally, I have to deliver these presents, Zuma yelped. Zuma tried to motor around Wally, but the Warrior kept getting in the way. Zuma realised he had a present for Wally. He found a package shaped like a fish and tossed it to Wally. Merry Christmas, dude! Wally barked his thanks and moved so Zuma could speed away. At Father Yumi's barn, Ryder, Rocky and Rubble were searching for the magic Christmas star. Rocky heard Bettina, Farmer Yumi's cow, mooing. They glanced around but nobody saw her, until Ryder pointed up at the night sky. Ryder and the pups couldn't believe their eyes. Bettina was flying through the air with the Christmas star stuck to her side. The star is making her fly like a reindeer, Ryder said. How will we get her down, Rocky asked. Ryder grabbed some hay and whistled to Bettina. She floated down for her snack. While she was munching the hay, Rocky grabbed the star using a mechanical claw from his pup pack. Ryder quickly called Santa to tell him that they'd found the star. Meanwhile, Chase had found all eight of the reindeer, but they wouldn't line up. He decided that this was a job for his megaphone. Attention all reindeer, he announced. Please move forwards in an orderly fashion. <laughs> they did, as they were told, and Chase led them back to sl Santa's sleigh. When Ryder and the pups met at the sleigh, they found Santa Claus waiting for them. My sleigh looks perfect, Santa exclaimed. Except for one missing piece, Ryder said, holding out the magic Christmas star. Santa took it and hung it on the front of the sleigh. While the pups loaded the gifts onto Santa's sleigh, Sky playfully took hold of the reins and presented to be Santa. I always wanted to sit here. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. <gasps> the reindeer took off, pulling the sleigh and the pups through the air. <laughs> Santa laughed. Ho, ho, ho. The reindeer always go when they hear that. He whistled and the reindeer landed back on the ground. I don't know how to thank you, Ryder, Santa said. I thought Christmas would be ruined, but you and the pups have saved it. Early the next morning, the pups ran to their Christmas tree. Santa had left gifts for everyone. But before the pups opened theirs, they wanted to give Ryder the present they had picked out just for him. A giant bone! It's perfect, Ryder said laughing. But I'll tell you what, pups, you can have it. Merry Christmas, everyone. The end.